Yeah, hugely difficult for everybody. And when you get a cancer diagnosis, it's bad enough. But if you get a cancer diagnosis that's stage four, uh, that's incurable. You're never cured. Uh, your chances of living beyond two years are 25% at best. Uh, luckily, I'm, I'm just beating that. And uh, luckily, Deborah James uh, beat that by a lot. She was diagnosed and lived for five years, but only because of um, a new drug that she was uh, on trial. She was in a trial, and, and it worked really well for her. And then, of course, it stopped working, and that's when she was in real trouble. Now, when I was diagnosed, I was. I was devastated, you know, the whole bottom fell out of my world and the, and the world of my family and I just thought, who's the person I can talk to to, to get some advice on how to deal with this? Um, and, and she was the first person that I thought of. We'd met at a function um, about a year before. We got on like a house on fire, very similar in many ways. And the fact that she had lived with stage four cancer for such a long time and with such a smile on her face and, you know, dancing her way through chemo and running marathons and looking amazing and being, you know, an ambassador for Sweaty Betty and, you know, all of that just made me think, I want to be like that. I want to deal with it the way that she has dealt with it. So we had a long phone call and I just said, how do you, how do you live with this burden? It's such a massive, massive burden to carry this, this death cloud hanging over you that you are probably going to die before everybody else, before all your friends. And um, she said, you don't. You, you, you don't you don't know you don't deal with it you don't ever get over it but you just learn to incorporate it into your life and you learn to incorporate all the treatments into your life it just becomes part of your life and part of your journey and we chatted for ages and she just said all you need is options Jackie that's all you need and um, and she had options I've got options and then she ran out of options and it's just such a terrible shame because she was a great ambassador for people with stage four cancer. How do you live with that? And, and she definitely lived life to the full with that.